What is going on guys, DBG, and today we are going to be trying out the Shaquille O'Neal Colossal card. So I've already used Wilt, I've already used a lot of big centers, and I want to compare them. I want to compare them to the Wilts of the world, to the Kareems of the world. I want to compare them to, like, the, the better centers in the game, to the Sabonises of the world, and seeing how they get on. Obviously, we're in, we're in the draft, it's in the draft mode, so we're not going to be able to, like, go to shoot around or anything with them, but... 89 offense, 80 or 97 defensive overall for Shaquille O'Neal. He has got four um, silvers, three halves, 16 golds, two bronze. So I just want to compare this for a second. How does he compare it to, uh, to last year's day one, Hakeem? Because this is the, he was the diamond center day one. So Hakeem Olajuwon, two Hall of Fames, 18 golds, two, bron two silvers. So he's there or thereabouts, they're around the same. So he has a 26 three ball, no mid range, 79 speed, 79 acceleration, but his speed with ball rating 69 is pretty good. Got really, really good post moves, post hook, driving dunk, lateral quickness of 56 as well. Is not terrible, like at this stage of the game, that is not shocking at all. Um, 95 vertical, he's got Shaquille O'Neal animations, what's it behind the back? Okay, he's got Steph Curry behind the back, I don't know what that is. But his ball handle's too low to really do anything, to be honest, with 58. Um, he's got back down Punisher on Hall of Fame. Rise up, drop stepper, grace um, under pressure, lob city finisher. Post finish and protook to put back bosses or any of these badges he really would, you'd want him to have. Not really. He's obviously not getting shooting badges. He's got post playmaker, got glue hands on silver. A half brick wall, half box, half chase down artist. Um, he's also got half rim protector, half tireless defender, half worm. So they all could be really, really good badges. So like, if you look at last year's Hakeem. He obviously had the, the badge that was named after him. And then he had Rim Protector. So he wasn't quite as good. But he also had Catch and Shoot. Could shoot way better from mid-range and was a little bit slower. So they were kind of similar cards. So I was thinking maybe this card's way better than last year's cards. But not really. So we've got um, Shag versus Wilt as like the big comparison. So for the Shag versus Wilt comparison, you've got a plus 17 three-pointer Wilt. That doesn't matter. Overall total stats plus 54. Intangibles is for them. Actually, these stats don't get counted. Plus 30 driving layup. So Shaq needs a 58 driving layup. That is a problem. That is a problem. And Shaq is a much worse post fade. Stamina is huge. Will Chamberlain, 93. 78 for Shaq. If you guys don't know, 78 stamina is horrific. Like 78 stamina is worse than Sabonis. It's worse than Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. Like you're going to need to run Shaq. Like Shaq... You're going to have to run a third center with how bad Shaq's stamina is. Centers lose stamina super quick. They lose stamina super quick. Like, he might have... Does he have lower stamina than Yao Ming? Does he have lower stamina than Yao? Because I've been messing around with, like, Yao and... No, Yao needs 40 stamina. Yao gets tired so quickly. Sean Bradley is someone that I've been using. And he gets tired quite quickly as well. 50 stamina. And then, I'm pretty sure Sabonis is 80. Arvita Sabonis gets Gatorade symbol every game I play with 82 stamina. Or 83 stamina. So Shaq's is very, very low. Um, but there are a lot of things Shaq's better at. Shaq's way faster with the ball. He's faster. He's got a better player build. Not as long a wingspan, but wider. And his lateral quickness is way better. So they're definitely comparable. I think early game, Shaq's build is is that little bit better. Like Shaq's build is like, is overall really, really nice. Um, but yeah, so we're going to go get into a game right here. We're going to get into a game. It's our first game of the draft. We actually have not been playing much of it. Me recording like my first draft on my um, on my nobody spent account a little bit later, um, and yeah, so it's just going to be an interesting one. We obviously got this video. We got a few others. I just will honestly want to see what Shaq is like because I've used um, like I've I've used um, what's his name, Will Chamberlain, and I have just been speaking to the mic. I've used Will Chamberlain. I did like the Will Chamberlain. So your settings don't change. So offensive settings. Um, freelance. And we run 21 delay. I don't even know what teams I've got really. What team I've got here in this draft. So coach settings. Manual, manual, manual. Um, off. Defensive settings. Smutter, deny. Who's he, who's he got center? James Donaldson. Gap him. Gap him. And... 
Sent out to bench, Larry Sanders, gap, gap. Okay. So obviously this guy's into his uh, settings as well. Again, I don't really know this squad. If I win, I win. If I lose, I lose. I couldn't care less. Because again, it's a it's a draft where the guy's currently one win, two losses. So he's not getting anything from the draft. So might as well just go with this one. Does, does almost everyone get this Pistons logo? Every game I've played online has been one of the two players at least have been using this Pistons logo. Well, obviously I've been using it quite a bit. Okay, he's actually got four shooters. This is actually a really nice team. What's the lineup that I have? I could have swore this lineup at Shaq. Maybe uh, he chose to use thing instead of Shaq. Yeah, Shaq's there. Shaq's there. Let's call a timeout. Let's get our lineup in. Let's get our lineup in. I'm probably just going to go bench lineup, honestly. Probably just going to go bench lineup because... I can go back to starters, so let's go to Shaq. Danny Manning, Miles, Jalen Green, Garland. Um, Cade starting. CJ McCollum, Jalen Green. Glenn Rice, maybe? Yeah, that might work. That lineup might work there. Okay. Big boy inside. I get it. He's got James Donaldson, who's going to be quite quite the, uh, the tricky matchup. But we spin middle. And Shaq misses that one. Mash, mash, mash. Strip there. Okay. That's fine. This guy's got four shooters surrounding James Donaldson, so... Okay, he's trying to dribble. I recognize this game. I recognize this name, 2K21. I recognize this name here. He just shot the ball, James Donaldson. What game is this guy playing? Okay, we're good. Into Shaq. Into the big diesel. Easy, easy dunk right there. Okay, good start there. Alright, we just need to see what he's all about. Like, he feels... He moves well enough on defense. Drop back. That should have been a pinch. But like, yeah, that's... um, That's the big thing with Shaq. Like, he's just a... Uh, he's just a dominant, dominant player in this game. Oh, Jalen Green. And that's the whole thing about it. Is that, like... When you're playing with someone dominant like this... You just gotta go... You just gotta surround them with the right players. Like, if you wanna run... If you don't wanna run a... Shooting center. He's got to surround him with shooters. Okay, I know it's a bit of a struggle running Darius Maz, but... That's a good shot from Wesley Wade. Bad miss. Big board. Hey, Shaq runs the floor fast. Okay, get into... Shaq, that's got to be you. You're stronger than... Uh, the mash burn, like... Drop back. I get it, Wesley Wade's Wesley Wade, but does feedback automatically turn off when you uh, play draft? Dunk that. There we go. He's a nice pick and roll big. He's gonna be a rage quit straight away. That's a rage quit straight away. Just early dominance from Shaq right there for the early rage quit. Let's go into another game now. Okay, big country on Shaq right now. Can big country do anything to him? Can Big Country do anything? Spins middle. Oh, hits the shooter. Green. Oh, he blew it. Okay, that's fine. Big board. Almost a big board. Chase down. Let's go. He's just running. He's just running. Oh, he went there. Terrible shot. Big board, Shaq. Hey, okay, Shaq cleans up. He absolutely cleans up here. Okay, let's go. Okay, we got by him with that spin easy dunk there for Shaquille O'Neal. Let's go. Clamp him up. That's me. That's you, Shaq. It's all you. Okay, big country there at the board. Just help up high on that, because Shaq can always cover back. Nice pinch. Nice pinch, we're there. Good contest. 
Shaq has gotten every single board. And the speed he runs down the floor at is crazy. Right in and stripped. Okay, that's just a bad thing by me. You can't just hold square anymore. And that's an easy steal. Oh, good foul. Okay. Shaq off the roll. And it's just a standing dunk. Like, that's what he does. He's like, he's, he's just Wilt. There's no, there's no other way to describe him. Like, he plays exactly like Will Chamberlain does. Terrible defense. Terrible by me. Absolutely horrific defense there. But a long pass there by Garland into Shaquille O'Neal. With his, like, 90-something post hook. They send a double team and swat it by Big Country. Okay, that's my fault for not passing out a double right there. And Bam out of bios in the game. Bam out of bios in the game. Shaq drop steps him. Easy layup. Okay, so he hasn't he hasn't been able to stop really the big diesel. I've taken a couple of bad shots with him. More so than anything. That's a snatch block! He just caught it! Oh, no. No, no, Bam's too little. Bam's too little. Bam's too little for the big diesel with the dunk right there. He's dominant. He is to start the game. If you know what you're... Like, you have to play a certain style with him. And you have to run through him. He's already tired, though. He's been on the floor for two and a half minutes. And he's absolutely wrecked. But it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. He's still out running everybody down the floor. Shaq on the break. Shaq on the break. Oh, oh, oh. Is he going to guard it? Post hook. Big board. Mash, mash, mash. He's jumping, he's jumping, he's jumping. And Shaq gets the put back. 10 early points. Like, if Shaq's on the floor, you are running through Shaq. Like, he's a good role, man. And he's just a dominant big body. He's not going to be like... If you're not run, If you're not using Shaq to his potential, he's a liability. Like, Shaq can very much be a liability if you have the wrong players around him. Okay. Shaq has just completely... Oh! That worked out in his favor. And that's green. I did say Shaq is just out around big country, but he played the lane. He played the lane really well there. Big Diesel. Big Diesel's in there. Oh. Easy mode. Easy mode just drops step and CP3 on that. Oh my god, I'm an idiot. Like, I'm actually having to work for points, and I'm just fell. I've given him six six straight points from the free throw line. Like, I had a big, big lead. And now all of that's just gone. It's, a, it's only a six-point lead. Like, I had a ten-point lead and was absolutely cruising. It was absolutely cruising. One more. Good pass. Bad release. Good shot, Jalen Green. Let's go. Okay, come on. Hard roll, hard roll, hard roll. Dot corner. Shaq is the Shaq has that gravity. Shaq has all of that gravity. Like when Shaq's on the floor, you have to send bodies to him. He's so tough to guard by himself. Like if Shaq's there, you have to send bo both bodies at him. The defense. Good green. Hit shot there by Big Country. And Siakam's guarding him. Okay, right inside. Doc Glenn Rice, who for some reason wouldn't stay in the corner. Um, and we got a shot there. Let's go. Shaq's uh, bronze post playmaker badge comes in handy quite a lot. We're good. Glenn Rice has him. It's a bad shot. Big board for Glenn Rice. I thought that was, I was going to say big board for Shaq there, but it clearly wasn't him. Shaq steps in and one. <sighs> Unlucky. All right, so we're going to call a timeout after this. His free throw is near impossible to shoot. As we green one. Okay. Like so one of four. Hacker Shaq is definitely a viable tactic. Launch. 
We got him, you got him, you got him, you got him. Bully ball. Mash. Easy hook. Good job, Shaq. That's just what he does. He's hard to stop in the post. Like 8 of 14 from the field. His stamina is just a pro it is a problem. Like it's not Yao Ming bad, it's not Sean Bradley bad, but it is pretty bad. Like he gets tired quicker than Kareem, like. Good pass. Good pick and pop. He probably deserved that. What you don't want to do is you you really even though he has moderately good speed ball, you don't really want to take the ball up with him. Drop step. Great job there by Siakam. Another thing Shaq's the best at is setting screens. Shaq is the best screen setter in my team. He always is. He's always the best player to set screens with. So if you need someone just to set screens and roll to the basket, Shaq is perfect for that. So in the end, Shaq actually went 9 and 19. Like he was 9 of 14. I missed my I'm pretty sure I missed did I miss my last five shots with him? I think I may have missed my last five shots with him. No, I definitely didn't, because he was three of seven in the fourth. Like, starting off, Shaq, 5 of 10 in the first, 1 of 2 in the second, 6 of 12, 1 of 1 in the third. Okay, so we started off all right. But still, though, the rebounding is the best thing. The rebounding and defense were huge from Shaq. Problem is, again, you really have stranded with shooters, otherwise he's not going to do anything. So anyway, that is the video. Honestly, Shaq versus Wilt, the stamina. I would probably put Wilt purely for just the stamina reason over Shaq, because Shaq got tired very quickly. But they're the same card. They're like they're basically the same card. That's all I can say. They are like they're ninety percent the same. They're gonna do ninety percent of the same things. So like I can't, I can't like say oh go for one or go for the other. Like they're pretty much the same card. If you got Wilt, you don't need to get Shaq anymore. Both of them are flawed. Neither of them are perfect cards. Both are inside centers. At the end of the day, Shaq is dominant, but I mean. Is he any more dominant than Kareem, who was the pre-order card? A little bit, not much. Like with the way speed works, he's not that much better than Kareem. So anyway, that's the video. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. I think you only love me cause I'm poppin'. This a layup, this a rebound, then it's rhyming. Tasting with the fake.